This is a video on the periodic table playing cards and they're awesome. They're a little pricey. They're an excellent learning tool as well as a fun conversation piece to have around your house. You know, when people, when your friends come over and you want to play cards and they see that you whip out a chemistry pack, it lets them know if, you know, if they're thinking people, they know that thought is honored in your household and whatnot, especially if it's like new friends or whatever. So let's just take a look at these cards here. These are the jokers and you have all the, it's, it's like the elements at the end of the periodic table, including the infamous element 115. And that's the one that Bob Lazar said he had in the, uh, flying saucer that he worked on at area 51 groom lake area s4 in the late 90s so the, this is 105 so what else we got 117 118 109 through 112. i want to just go through these cards here so if you were thinking about buying them you could see the quality of them um, they're fantastic the, er, on the back of every single one it's got like an atom on it and it looks pretty good the, the colors are like pretty awesome and then we'll just look at the cards here this is uh, copper molly bedium I never even heard of that one radon tantalum lanthanum zirconium oxygen Gold, iodine, californium, strontium, neobium. I don't even remember learning some of these. Cesium, cobalt, curium. I don't remember that. Lithium, bismuth, promethium. Berkelium, lutetium, thallium, rubi rubidium, I don't remember that at all, titanium, tungsten, iridium, scandium, selenium, americium, Terbium. Wow, look at that one. Yttrium. Krypton. Aluminum. Vanadium. Tin. Silver. Neo, neodymium, indium, silicon, chromium, bromine, neptunium, fermium, cadmium, Fluorine, astatine, antimony, antimony, whatever, mendelevium, rhodium, zinc, europium, germanium, beryllium, Technetium. That's that's one side of the deck. Let's see the other the other deck. Okay, we got neon, plutonium, holmium, hafnium. Boron, white terbium, gallium, 
uranium Proact proactinium rhenium radium samarium ruthafridium tellurium ged gedolinium sodium nickel hydrogen thorium dysprosium sulfur einsteinium ruth ruthenium mercury phosphorus xenon helium francium iron press Praesidion dinimina, palladium, nobelium, osmium, actinium, lead, cerium, carbon, erbium, erbium, polonium, argon, chlorine, arsenic, potassium, calcium, nitrogen, magnesium, barium, platinum, thulium, mang manganese, and laurentium. And those, uh, and those jokers again. Bam. 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 And there's a little playing guide card. And then there's like a learning game where it's kind of like flashcards and you you talk about the properties of each element, how much the atomic weight, atomic number, and whatnot. I don't know if you were able to count the cards, but Obviously, if there's 52 cards in a deck and there's 109 elements, uh, you're going to have some extras. So, it's two decks, basically. Because these are two fours of diamonds. And so, it's two decks of cards. And then, so what, 52 times 52 is 104. So, this should start at 105. And sure enough, it does. So that's how they worked it out. Just in case you were wondering. I could feel you wondering that while we're doing the video. So anyway, that's the the chemistry cards. Peri I'm sorry, periodic table playing game. Periodic table playing cards. I've enjoyed these in my household for for at least six years now. And it's been great whipping these out and it gives me an opportunity to really promote uh, learning as something you talk about and being happy about. I love to learn. I really don't even like talking about anything except intelligent topics, things that activate your mind and get you to have a deep discussion. I don't want to have small talk. I only want to have uh, engaging discussions. Because uh, I, I don't, I don't need to discuss what the people on television tell me to discuss. Because I'm not a mind-controlled slave. I like to think about cool stuff, and I like to promote anything that promotes to others that they should be proud to be smart, proud to improve their intelligence and improve their their mind, and not be afraid to have intelligent discussions. I just try to promote stuff that used to be called nerdy. To be made more mainstream because I think deep down everybody loves to learn because even if you're if you think about it even people that love gossip what is gossip it's you're learning new things about people I'm just using gossip as you know, gossip kind of has a negative connotation even though everybody engages in gossip uh, gossip is socially acceptable whereas deep discussions on topics that 
it could uh, help expand your paradigm of reality, uh, that's considered a headache or that's considered weird or nerdy. And I'm really trying to change that in a militant way. I'm almost like doing the same exact stuff that society does and reversing it. You want to talk about boring, normal things that they talk about on television? Then you're not cool. If you want to talk about stuff that is going to help advance mankind, that's pretty cool to me. So if you're with me on that, why don't you subscribe to this channel? Because that's what we talk about here. And my other channel, Jonathan Lippy. I really talk about it there. That's my philosophy channel. And uh, in your own life, why don't you get yourself some periodic table cards, find out who you're smart friends are and who your idiot friends are. Your smart friends will appreciate that you have that. Uh, the idiot ones will feel uncomfortable playing with periodic table cards. I don't know why the periodic table is nerdy because it's the building blocks of reality. It's what makes up everything around us. So I think that's pretty awesome. And if you want to talk about LeBron James or the Miami Heat or sports, I could do that, but also make sure you got some uh, some science and some thought-provoking stuff involved too. I'm not trying to exclude you if you're not intelligent, but if you're trying to push an idiotic agenda, keep people stupid, you're playing for the wrong team. Anyway, uh, I wish all of you knowledge, happiness, and all that good stuff. If you want some periodic table cards, the link is in the description below. They're quality, they're fun, they're beautiful, and uh, they make a great a great talking piece and a great collection to your household. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Technuba. Technuba.